I am writing a piece of automation where I have to perform two clicks. I dragged and dropped two click activities and pointed to the elements. If you notice the name, the name of both the activities is click the split button. Now let's say there is some exception in the automation and if I simply go and say run the file, you would say I have got a runtime exception which says that the source click split button is not available. But if you see here, I have two split buttons. So as a developer, it's difficult for me to identify which of the activity has got the exception, right? Now, what is the best practice? The best practice is to rename the activities properly, which means that let's say this button is for the copy, right? So I can simply go to the properties and I say here that in the display name that this is the click button for the copy. And let's say this one is for something, let's say rename. Okay, so I can say here, click copy button for the rename. Now when I do so, if I simply go and I say run the file, the first benefit I'll get is that I'll be able to get the source directly in here, which says that your click button copy is not working. The second benefit is the readability, which means that anybody reading this automation can clearly know that yes, this is the click button for copy and this is the click button for the rename. So the best practice here is that always rename the activities properly. This will help you in two ways, one in the debugging and the other is to increase the readability of the automation. Thank you for watching and happy automation. Mm -hmm.